From 4 News Now, with live updates throughout the day, breaking news as it happens, and weather every 10 minutes. This is KXLY+. Plus. Hello, for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Coming up in the end of August is the Great Outdoors Comedy Festival, three-day outdoor festival at the new One Spokane Stadium. One of those featured comedians is the person I'm talking to today, Spokane native and very successful comic, Kelsey Cook. Kelsey, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're gearing up uh, for the second uh, leg of your tour, so thanks for hopping on. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. What's the pride you get when you feel that, or you hear that a three-day comedy festival with Kevin Hart, Tom Segura, Shane Gillis, yourself, all coming to what is little Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I still have so much love for Spokane and I feel like I give it a hard time when I'm performing there, but uh, I do truly think it's so great and it makes me just thrilled to see huge comics like, you know, like you said, Kevin Hart, Tom Segura, Shane Gillis coming in for a festival like this. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had anything quite yeah, as big as kind this of coming. Shocking. Yeah, it's nuts. Is that going to bring more pressure to your set or are you business as usual? I'm kind of business as usual. Uh, I am going to also be on the fully loaded tour this summer with Burt Kreischer. And I was able to do a couple shows on his tour last summer as well. And those venues are like 10,000 seat arenas, which just, I mean, it blows your mind. There's like nothing that compares to it. So I'm fortunate that I got to have a little bit of a taste of what that feels like. So I think going into this, I'll be maybe a little bit more prepared for that big of a venue, but um, but I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. What's the liver prep like to going on a Burt Kreischer tour? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it's like a month of detox beforehand. <laughs> you can try to survive uh, sleeping on a tour bus and drinking during the day, but yeah. You're not yeah. keep, there's no way you're keeping up. No, no, no. Yeah, no, that's, it, and I'm, maybe that's like a good thing about being one of the only women on the tour is like, I don't think anybody looks at me at five, four and thinks like, she's gonna go <laughs> toe she's to She's ready for her sixth tequila. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, there, there hasn't been too much pressure put on me to drink, which has been nice. Uh, your special, we talked about this before we started recording, but your YouTube special, The Hustler, just hit 3 million views. What's that process been like as you've seen the, the popularity of that grow? It's been crazy. I put it on YouTube a year ago. I had no idea what would come from it because, you know, the, the algorithm can be really incredible, but you also see some comic specials either get like you know demonetized if there's swearing or you know like content that the algorithm doesn't like it just it just feels like sometimes you don't have a ton of control right but i just have been so fortunate that people have seemed to really like it and share it around and the fact that it hit three million is just like it's it's crazy so i'm really glad that i've seen ticket sales go up from it and i'm excited to put the next special out too and you've definitely been putting in the work. It's not like you're an uh, overnight. You weren't doing, you didn't start a year ago. Uh, yeah. So it's got see now the fruits of that labor. It's got to be pretty cool. Totally. Yeah. This is my 15th year of comedy. I started when I was at WSU actually. So uh, it's, yeah, it's been a long time of, of working and touring and it feels great to have people kind of taking notice now. Absolutely. Now that special is called The Hustler. Uh, one of my favorite things about you is when you <laughs> hustle men who think they can beat you, a former professional foosball player. Uh, yeah. So I guess my question from that is what are your favorite cities to hustle drunk guys and what's the most you've ever taken home in a night? That's a good question. Um, generally when I'm on tour in Florida, that's been fairly profitable for me. I don't know if it's because people are drinking more there, like they're on vacation, or if it's just like a certain mentality there where they don't assume that 
this like small woman would be able to beat them at foosball. But yeah, I think I won between like 300 and 400 dollars one night on tour off of a few people there. As soon as somebody gets their Venmo out, that's like a really yeah exciting moment for me because that just means it's like they're willing to just keep going. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's not like they're going to run out of cash. Yeah, they're just, yeah, their ego starts to feel like, well, maybe I can get one more, like, if if I play one more game, I'll get it, and then, you know. So Florida's lucrative because of misogyny. I think so. <laughs> I think that's the lesson I've learned about Florida. It's really cemented the thoughts I had about it, so. That tracks. You just filmed uh, what's going to be your new special. What's the timeline looking like for that? Is it uh, also going to be the Mark Your Territory special? So we uh, we don't know when exactly it will be coming out. The plan is for it to be called Mark Your Territory, which is the name of the current tour I'm on. But uh, we're going to pitch it to the streaming services and see if somebody wants it. And that would be really exciting. It's, it's a very cool time for stand-ups because getting it bought by a streamer is an exciting option, but also YouTube has obviously been very helpful for comics as well. So it's a good place. And I don't want to take up too much of your time, but yeah. do you have a choice? You've been living in LA for, or you were living in LA for uh, near mm -hmm. a decade. Uh, do you have a preference between Zips and In-N-Out? Oh my God, you can't do this to me. <laughs> I think Zips will always be number one for me. That's like core childhood memories of those fries with tartar sauce and like a bacon cheeseburger. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I do love in and out but mm -hmm. nothing at top Zips. Zips is too yeah. good. I'm a California kid originally, so I think uh -oh. it might be what you were exposed to first. For sure. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I can respect it. that. I can respect that for sure. Yeah. And you're also uh, in a relationship with another very successful comedian. How do you guys balance that? <laughs> uh, it's great. I mean, we really do have so much fun every day. Like we do try to make each other laugh a lot, but we also have a very normal relationship. We uh, we started a podcast together called Pretend Problems, and we've had so much fun talking about our relationship on there every week, and also giving advice to listeners who write in who you know, want advice about their relationship or something else they're going through. So it's been a really fun thing to have a project together because when we're on tour at the same time, we have to be apart doing our stand up in different cities and then coming back together. So it's nice to come home and do a podcast together now. Then you kind of get that absence makes the heart grow fonder type thing. Yeah, yeah. We try to, you know, not be apart for too long because because then we miss each other too much. But yeah, it's uh, the podcast has been really great. What are your when you're in town? What are some of your favorite spots around Spokane? Are you a Jack and Dan's person, Clinker Dagger? Ooh, um, I really love Wooden City. Nice and, classic. Um, yes, I love. Um, I love mole. I love umi sushi. I love the elk. The elk is again like a long time childhood favorite spot of mine. And I really love root too. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good call. I could go on and on. I love so many Spokane restaurants. And talk to us a little bit about the Mark Your Territory uh, tour. I know you got the second leg. Your I think your last twenty twenty four tour dates. If people want to catch you, uh, mm -hmm. what's uh, this tour kind of focusing on? Yeah, so it's it's a whole bunch of different things. You know, I'm still doing some of the material that I just shot on the new special because obviously you you need time to then write a new hour. So I'm still doing some of those jokes, which are about, you know, moving to Minnesota, uh, my relationship with Chad. I talk about my mom and my mom having dementia. And then the new material I've been working out uh, is, I think, also pretty relationship heavy. It's a lot of topics that come from Chad and I recording the podcast. So I feel like there's something for everybody. That's what I always kind of strive for. And I'll be back at Spokane Comedy Club Valentine's weekend of 2025. So I'll be there February 13th through the 15th. So I'm very excited to come back for, for a weekend there. Absolutely. So that'll be 20, yeah, 2025. That's right. I know. Already passed. So futuristic. Yeah, it's crazy. 
Yeah, like being booked out that far in advance is going to be like, well, I guess my life's settled forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the touring is a strange beast, but I feel very fortunate to have tour dates out that far. Do you have any tips to staying sane while on tour? Oh, man, you got to get outside. It's really easy to just stay in your hotel room all day if you're feeling tired or just, you know, jet lagged, but getting some fresh air, getting some good food, like eating something that isn't just like dusty trail mix from the hotel <laughs> front desk. Like you have to really almost be your own soccer mom. You got to be like, okay, we need some orange slices today. Like yeah. We need to get some actual vitamin C in our body. So that's what I try to do. Is there a city that you've been to on tour? I always like to ask this whenever we talk mm -hmm. to musicians or comics. What's a city that surprises you? Huh. Um, I really love Fort Collins in Colorado. I had never been there before, uh, but they opened this incredible club called the Comedy Fort. And so now I've gone back several, several years in a row and it's the town that Walt Disney made um, Main Street Disney after, like designed it after the downtown of Fort Collins. So it's just this like really cute college town. They have great restaurants. It's just like a beautiful place. So that was an unexpected gem that I really like going back to now. Well, that's cool. I've never heard someone say Fort Collins when I ask that question. So that's, and I bet because it's based on Disneyland, there's probably a familiarity when you go. You're like, oh, this is kind of. Yeah. Cool. Totally. It's it's really great. I feel like it's kind of an underrated vacation spot. But yeah. Absolutely. Well, Kelsey, you have been very generous with your time. Is there anything else you want to add? I don't think so, but I'm excited for the show in August. And like I said, I'm excited to be back at uh, Spoken Comedy Club for Valentine's weekend. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I did have one more question. When is Risks of Fury coming back? Oh, man, I miss Risks of Fury so much. We don't have a set plan at this point for for like where we could do a reboot, but it is it's like always in my heart where I'm like, okay, at some point I would love to bring it back. Yeah, I mean, all the episodes are on YouTube that we have. I think there are 25 episodes on there, but hopefully at some point, yeah. Awesome, Kelsey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Rob. And tickets are on sale for Kelsey Cook's tour, the Mark Your Territory tour. You can find that at kelseycook.com, the last 2024 dates. Also tickets on sale for the Great Outdoors Comedy Festival, August 23rd through the 25th at the One Spokane Stadium here in the Great Inland Northwest. Uh, thank you, Kelsey Cook. And for live in studio, I'm Rob King for 4 News Now.